Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I decided to make another what I'm having for lunch today video. I'll be following three recipes. One that I found online for a vegan mozzarella and the two others that I found here on YouTube. One for a vegan thin crust pizza dough from the YouTube channel Break and Shegan. And for dessert, I'll be making a vegan apple crisp from the YouTube channel Live B. I will add both video links to the description of this video. So let's get started. For my vegan mozzarella, I will start by adding a block of tofu into my blender. Half a cup of plant-based milk, three tablespoons of cornstarch, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of lemon juice, half teaspoon of garlic powder, and blend it all together until it's smooth. I will then transfer my smooth tofu into my small pot and whisk it until it thickens. For about 10 minutes at medium high heat. Transfer it to a bowl and refrigerate overnight. For my pizza crust, I will start by adding one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of active dry yeast and a quarter cup of water. Whisk it all together and set it aside. For my dry ingredients, I will start by adding two cups of flour into my bowl, one teaspoon of salt. This wasn't in the original recipe, but addition to all my other ingredients, I also added Italian seasoning, garlic powder, and chili flakes. And once in your mixer, mix your dry ingredients together and start adding your water. And I just remembered one thing, I did forget to add oil. <laughs> but it works out pretty well just because usually when I make my own pizza dough, I never add oil. So if, if you want to add oil, you can. If not, you can just leave it. But it's still going to it's still going to be a pretty good pizza crust. <laughs> and now I'm going to place my dough into a bowl. I'm going to add some flour just so it doesn't stick to it. And I'm just going to basically leave this overnight just so it can double in size. So it's the next day and my flour, I mean my dough was doubled in size, but I started messing with it before I turned the camera on. But I'm going to start kneading it so I can form it into my pizza. And like I mentioned earlier, this is a new pizza dough recipe I'm trying out from Breaking Shegan. Make sure to check out his channel. I want my pizza to come out thin and crispy, so I'm only going to use half of my dough. So I'm just going to knead my dough one more time so I can start rolling it into my pizza crust. And there you have it, my thin crust pizza dough. For my pizza sauce, I'm just making a traditional sauce. I'm using a full can of tomato sauce, and to that I added onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, crushed red peppers for spice, minced garlic, and dried basil. Whisk at low heat until you end up with your pizza sauce. I then added my pizza sauce and mozzarella threw it in the oven for 10 minutes and baked it at 400 degrees. My mozzarella didn't melt like I wanted to, so I used a spoon and pressed it down. I then added my toppings, spinach, onions, mushrooms, jalapeno, and fresh tomatoes. I threw it back in the oven and baked it for 15 more minutes. And there it is, my vegan thin crust pizza with a vegan mozzarella. I also made a balsamic vinaigrette. To my jar I added three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, a quarter cup of oil, and some salt. 
I enjoyed my thin crust pizza with my balsamic vinaigrette as my topping. For my vegan apple crisp, I started by slicing three apples. The original recipe asked for brown sugar. Unfortunately, I was out, so I added one tablespoon of regular cane sugar and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Using my hands, I mixed in my apples and my lemon juice together. I then added one teaspoon of cinnamon. In a separate bowl, I added one and a quarter cups of oats, one third cup of oil, and one third cup of sugar. Once again, the recipe asked for brown sugar, but I had to use my regular cane sugar. Using my hands, I mixed in all the ingredients. I then added my apples to my dessert bowls and my oats to the top of my apples. I baked them at 350 degrees for 35 minutes. And there it is, my vegan apple crisp. Shout out to Liv B. Make sure you check out her channel. And guys, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And also in the comments below, let me know what you thought of this video and what I made.